Our story began in 1991. Over time, the mortgage industry has experienced many changes, but our core values here at CIS have always remained the same. Character, integrity, and service. You don't need to be a mortgage expert to get a great financial plan. You just need to work with one. Our focus and dedication have allowed us to help thousands of families reach their dream of home ownership, whether it be refinancing your current home, buying a manufactured home, or purchasing investment property, we have a product for you. We invite you to find out more by visiting our website at cishomeloans.com or like us on Facebook. CIS Home Loans, mortgage loans made simple, equal housing lender. Coming out not for a few items on the agenda we'll cover in just a minute. I want to make a couple of public announcements uh, before we get into our meeting. Uh, first, don't forget the census. April is almost here. Before you know it, it's going to be time to be counted. Do not forget to participate in the 2020 census. It's so important. Um, Jerry Brown Arts Festival coming to Tom Bigby Building. Saturday and Sunday <coughs> this, this weekend, so I hope you'll get out and enjoy the arts and crafts that are brought to Hamilton through this effort. Uh, the uh, Arts Council is meeting downstairs as we're meeting up here, getting ready for their last minute uh, information they're putting together for the big festival, and we think it's going to be a, a great festival this year. Lots more vendors signed up than there were last year. April 25th will be our Clean Up Hamilton Day. Uh, this is sponsored, I believe, each year by the Lions Club. They'll be having breakfast, I believe, at the Methodist Church before we go out and pick up our trash up in the city. So that'll be just around the corner, April 25th. We'll mention that again at a, a later date. Election Day is to tomorrow, March the 3rd. Don't forget, uh, forget to go to the polls and vote. Uh, we have, uh, I believe, the Superintendent of Education race and our Senate race is two big election matters. A couple of amendments maybe that you'll be interested in looking at. So we'll be back at the Recreation Center to vote this year for the Hamilton voters. So uh, get out and vote. Uh, the play Oklahoma is at Bevel tonight at 7.30 and also tomorrow night at 7.30. And two people at this meeting I know will be leaving to go and join the choir down there and enjoy some music tonight, which we'll be participating in. Do you know anyone, Tracy? Maybe that they made you. Good so music. if you're not a good singer, don't come. <laughs> He's made one rehearsal. I know for sure he wasn't the other four. <laughs> I was a little guy. Sorry, man. Old pros don't need much for us. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to be a lot of fun. So get out and uh, support these kids. There's about 60 kids involved or so, and they're great. All we'll be doing is sitting in the corner. And once in a while, we'll chime in and fill up the room with some extra music at the community choir. So that's going to be a lot of fun for us uh, older heads. Um, again, I appreciate everybody coming tonight. Our, our park board and uh, park director uh, is here with us, rec director, and uh, Lynn, Melinda, Tracy, Scott, Wayne, all of you. I appreciate you coming out, Dale. Um, we'll stand together before we start this meeting. And we'll have an invitation and then we'll be right in that meeting. We have a pledge. Father God, we pause at this time just to thank you for another day of life. Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you richly bestow on our community here in Hamilton. Lord, we thank you for opportunities to serve. We ask that you would be with us in our meeting tonight. Lord, we ask that you be with our leaders throughout our country and our nation. Lord, we ask you to bless those that serve in the military and maybe in dangerous places even at this time. Watch over them. Go with us through this life and protect us from all harm. In Christ's name, amen. 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 I pledge
put his allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First on our agenda tonight will be a recommendation to approve the minutes of our last council meeting, which was held on Tuesday, February the 18th, 2020. We need a motion to approve those minutes. Mayor, I noticed that um, the start date for the water rates was added to this, and that was not mentioned in the meeting, so you might want to let everybody know. I know it's going to go out in the bills, but it was not announced in the last meeting when this was voted on, so you may want to let everybody know about that. Uh, on the April billing will be the first time that new rates will be affecting our people. Okay. Uh, motion. I'll make that motion. All right. We have a motion is second. Second. All those in favor of approving the minutes. Thank you. Um, item two would be a recommendation to approve our accounts payable bills for February 2020. <coughs> I have a question about that too. On the, uh, the fire department, they had a couple of uh, expenditures on there and I know that you and Tim are the ones that are in charge of the fire tax money. Um, some of these charges for the fire department, could that not come out of that tax money or has it all been spent or how do y'all determine that because we don't see a list of what that money is spent for. If he, if he buys something through the special tax, he comes to Angela with that bill and asks her to write a check and then I, I sign it after looking at what he's spending. Right, but none of the charges, none of these current charges would fit under that or is that fund depleted or how is it determined what we pay for and what comes it's out of that depleted, tax? Is it? Oh no, it's not depleted. The three mil um, Balance everything for February because we haven't gotten the statements yet. <coughs> in, in January, uh, we had 95377 in the three mail tax money for the fire department. <coughs> and all of those purposes are things related to the fire station uh, different equipment, turnout gear, things of that nature. So, uh, So there's no reason that some of these charges couldn't come out of that money? I wouldn't think so, other than if it were items that he budgeted. If, if he were using those items to be paid for out of what he budgeted through the general fund. Right. And that might be the only difference that I would know of. testing on the ladders for one of the trucks, which I understand that uh, we had to replace a garage door or a, a door over there. I just, I don't, uh, we don't ever see how that other money spent, so I don't know what's coming out of the other money and what's coming out of the, I know what's coming out of CD money. I just don't know how the other money spent. So. Well, I'd like to let you just come by and look at that check book. Anytime. I have a folder on all those accounts. Everything that goes in and everything that comes out of it. And I make copies of everything that's out. 
I have it. Okay. I, I'm sure it's just that you know we don't vote on that, yes, so true. we don't know. We don't have a say in how it's spent or what it's spent on, so and we don't get a list of of how it's spent. So. I'd love for anyone coming up that such a we haven't been spending an awful lot out of that fund this morning. It's been mostly in the lens that take them out. Are we saving it for a big purchase or are we? I don't know. Okay. It's the firemen's money. They got out and conjured up a bunch of money for themselves, and I don't know how they're going to spend it. He usually brings me an invoice with whatever he's spending for, and uh, I haven't seen anything unreasonable yet. You're welcome to look at all of it. Well, I just think the items that can be purchased out of that money, we should purchase out of that money. Nope. Just like the computer, you know, before they came and the uh, their surveillance equipment, we it got purchased out of that. Money. It got purchased out of that. Money. So I just think that anything that can come out of those funds, especially with that much money in there, needs to be coming out of out of that money. I have, I have no disagreement with that either. So for uh, when he's petitioned to spend some money, we've been able to approve the items he's wanting. Just uh, how much money is in there? You're talking about a lot of money. As of the end of January, it was ninety-five three seventy-seven. And what 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 what's this in? Well, that's the three mil tax fund. That's the special money that was passed by an electoral vote. And it's just there to be spent the way, the way we want to spend it. For the fire department. For the fire department only. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's a check that comes in monthly uh, for, for the money. But it won't take that, long when you have to buy a fire truck or something. <laughs> so I'm not going to get it too I much. I hope that's we can absorb some of the cost of the new truck out of that fund one day. I know one of the local uh, um, volunteer fire departments has just bought a brand new truck and they're about $400,000. Yeah. They're not cheap. No. Okay. <coughs> uh, did we get a motion or a motion in second to pay our accounts payable bills? Okay. No, we didn't. Not on the bills. We didn't. On the bills. We need, we need a motion and a second to pay our bills. I'll make it. Oh. Herb made a motion. We'll need a second. I'll second. Yeah, right. Motion and a second to pay our bills. All in favor. Thank you. Uh, the next uh, recommendation is to promote Heather Godsey into Mary Frank's position at the library. This will be a 30 hour per week job and Mary Frank's because of medical reasons recently tendered her resignation letter to us and we will move Heather into that role. And this is at the recommendation of her supervisor. I like that motion. We got a motion, we'll need a second for that. Second. No second, all in the boat. Thank you. And I'm going to recommend that we pay Heather $9 per hour for this position. And after she completes her 90 day probationary period successfully, we advance her to $9.50 at that point. Need that, need that motion will need a second on that. I second. I second. All in favor. Thank you. Uh, we'd like to announce next on item five the announcement of Sean Armstrong as the new hire for our library aid position. This will be a 19 hour per week job for this position. And I'd recommend that we pay Sean 
seven twenty five per hour for this part time position. I might get motion. Got motion, we'll need a second. I second. All in favor. Thank you. Um, next will be the announcement that Carrie Rye King will be hired as athletic director for the Hamilton Park and Recreation Department. Uh, we had a great group of interviews over there and after the Committee met. This was their recommendation, and I took their recommendation. And having been part of the interview, I felt that she was a good candidate for this job. And I hired Carrie Bry King to fill that position. And I'd recommend that we pay Carrie King fifteen forty per hour for this position. I'll make a motion. Have you made a motion? We need a second. Second. All in favor? Thank you. When did she start? Um, got some guests. I'm going uh, to let to catch this up just a little bit on some matters. I'm, I'm going to ask Linda Weaver to address us. She's with our uh, power company, works the division and supervision around this area. She's doing a great job for Alabama Power. I'd like for her to stand and just say a few words to us about what's going on in her world and with the company. Okay. It's good to be here with you tonight. Um, really just wanted to say it's, it's we want to help in any way that we can, whether it's economic, community development, and just phone call away, talk to Mayor Cage quite often, and, and just want to be available. So just give me a call. Right. Do you know when our lights will be in? For the state roads? Well, and even some of the, the side roads. I don't, but I will check for you. I, I did talk with a lighting group about a week ago, and I know they were still working on permitting, um, but, but I will check and, and get a time frame for you. Tracy? Well, I think you stole most of my thunder earlier, Mayor, but just to reiterate what you said, I would encourage everybody to please make sure they fill out their census. I know y'all heard this bill before, so I won't give it to you again. We'll lose $1,600 per person per year, roughly the federal monies for each person that's not counted, not to mention our loss of one or two congressional seats and the influence that we, that would lessen our influence in the eventual uh, presidential selections because it would lower our number of electoral votes in the electoral college. Uh, also, uh, remind everybody, as you did, about the Jerry Brown Arts Festival this weekend. I'll be there Saturday. Looking forward to seeing everybody. Uh, also, encourage if you can tonight or tomorrow night to make the Oklahoma presentation. For those of you who have not seen it, uh, the mayor tell you, we've got a lot of good kids and so many good young people in our community to be proud of and to see the work that's going into the costumes and the props and all the time they've invested. The least we can do if we can is try to show up and support them and encourage them and let them know we are supportive of what they're doing. And I would just say, we won't say details yet, but I will say the mayor and I are continuing to work. We've been working for months on a, a seven-figure potential project for the city uh, that we're trying to secure some funds uh, for a project we've been working on. Uh, the mayor and I and his wife and my wife had uh, dinner a couple weeks ago with the Idaho Speaker of the House, Matt McCutcheon, and his wife, and discussed this. He seemed very supportive uh, based on what we saw, and I've met with him again since, and his awesome but memory to remind him of our need for this project. And uh, uh, he has kind of given me some direction on some other things. The mayor's aware of that, some things we're working on to keep pushing forward that. So hopefully in a few months, we'll be able to say yay or nay whether or not we were successful. But we're cautiously optimistic. Appreciate the hard work you're doing, President. Yes, sir. Uh, this man, it's been running that for more than I can't keep up with you. And I said, where are you up today, Tracy? It's no Tim but two. Who knows? Uh, well, I'll tell you, I took Wade with me a few weeks ago to Buck Member. He didn't want to go, so we went. And I just, I'm going to tell him, I'm going to tell everybody now that I told him, I'll tell everybody. We didn't have time for lunch that day, so I treated him in my office to a pack of peanut butter and crackers and a, and a soft drink. <laughs> so, yeah, but I'll tell you the rest of that story. <laughs> I had a sign for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, had, we, we had a good day out here. Forget to walk that way. He said, you know something I learned then? I said, well, he said, 
you work with some of the nicest people. <laughs> and I said, I know it's contrary to what we all have in our mind, but he laughed that he had probably got more hugs that day uh, than he had ever had in his life. There's, there's a lot of good folks down there. there. There's a few that make all the headlines, but for the most part, a lot of really good folks. I'd like to say I do appreciate our Park and Recreation Board and the hard work they do and the care that they have for their programs. And I really want to say thanks and shout out to all of them for the hard work they're doing. Uh, truly, uh, we can't make it without you guys. It, it's important what you do for us. I don't have anything else tonight for our meeting. If we have no other business tonight, I'd ask us for a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion. Yeah, motion to adjourn. And we'll do a second to that. I'll second. I'll second. All in favor. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com backslash 49 County News TV.